Yes, these are very important events. They once again show Azerbaijan's international reputation and our successful policy, because everyone knows the course of events related to COP29. And I can say again, I can say with complete sincerity that as a result of our very precise and thoughtful diplomatic steps, we got the opportunity to host this prestigious event in Azerbaijan. You know that although the host of COP30 was known, Brazil, the host of COP29 was not known until the last days. During the last few weeks, even after that conference started in Dubai, there were still active diplomatic contacts, and we achieved what we wanted there as well. However, our traditionally stubborn friends tried to hinder us at both events again at COP29 in a more covert form. Here, a step towards peace in the region was being envisaged as well. And going against this step would have certainly not earned anyone dividends. Because of this, behind the scenes activity was more evident, and there was even an open campaign against us regarding the World Urban Forum. On the eve of the voting, many countries were pressured into not voting in favor of Azerbaijan, but they failed there too. And the holding of these two events will certainly significantly enhance the international reputation of our country. Moreover, if we look at COP events, even the urban forums are usually held in developed and large countries, because in terms of the number of visitors, it is the biggest event. There were approximately 70 to 75,000 foreign visitors in Dubai, and along with all other factors, welcoming so many guests, creating conditions, and solving all organizational issues are evidence of great potential. So, this is another demonstration of our country's capabilities. At the same time, it is our attitude towards the green agenda. And immediately after we were given this honor, a media campaign was launched against us again. The traditional actors are the Washington Post, the New York Times, which, as you remember, President Trump quite accurately described as fake news. Figaro and a few others immediately started a dirty campaign against us without any reason whatsoever. They even lashed out our environment minister, whom I appointed to COP29. He must have encountered such a situation for the first time. They were pointing out that he had worked in an oil company for many years. What does it mean? I also worked in an oil company for nine years. So what? This man worked as a vice president for environment in an oil company. After that, he has been working as minister of ecology for six years. All this is being put aside, as if it never happened, and only his biography in the oil company is talked about. In any case, these are natural because whenever an international event is held in Azerbaijan, we face such campaigns, be it the European Games, Eurovision, or even the Astronautical Congress. We would actually be surprised if this is not the case. I wonder why. What did we do wrong for the West to be praising us? In other words, if they praise us, it means we have made a mistake. In any case, the hosting of these two events is a major development, and I am sure that both events will be held successfully and the visiting guests will see the realities of Azerbaijan. From the point of view of essence, I think that it is more important to hold such events in countries that produce oil and gas and have an oil and gas history, because this was a claim against us and even against the United Arab Emirates, and before that against Egypt. And such claims are made because oil and gas producing countries are hosting this event for the third time. But this issue should be approached from a different perspective. These countries, countries that are rich in oil and gas, are inside this process. They want to contribute to our common cause, Azerbaijan and the United Arab Emirates, to an even greater extent, not only provide for its own energy security, without the green energy, but also for the energy security of many others. But this is a symbol of great responsibility. It is an indication that we want to allocate our resources to this field, so that green energy can develop in our countries, as they say, and contribute to the rest of the world. Here, of course, very serious processes will take place. Azerbaijan will have a special role to play as president of COP29. The course of the proceedings will largely depend on our position. We have already received offers on cooperation from several countries. We will determine the directions of cooperation during this preparatory period and will be ready to cooperate with all countries. This will be a great experience for us because I still think that this is the world's number one international event, an international conference, and from the point of view of the attention of the world community, it is more prestigious than the UN General Assembly, because it is usually presidents who come and speak at the UN General Assembly. At the time of their speeches, there is usually no one in the hall except for their own delegations. After that, they leave. But there will be real work here. There will be discussions, perhaps even certain clashes of ideas. It will be an interesting process. 
And we are certainly proud that Azerbaijan is spearheading this process. Azerbaijan'da bu prosesi rehberlik etmesi elbette ki gurur vericidir.